Hi, sisters. Bye, sisters. All right, guys. So I got my James Charles um, palette here. Um, obviously, there's lots of controversy going on um, right now with James. And uh, well, I'm going to share my thoughts on the controversy while I'm destroying it because why not? All right. So first, before we get into the destruction part of the video, I'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys. Um, okay, great. So Morph, Morphe, whatever you want to call it, James Charles. So as you can see, there's like a bunch of, um, you know, he named them all. You know, we got Daddy, we got... Um, we got sister, we have code James, more like code Philip, you know, save 10% on our own folks so merch. Don't have any merch yet. Coming soon, coming soon, don't worry. Leave a like, subscribe, of course, all that good stuff is punch me. Okay, we got all that good stuff, right? Punch me. You know, I don't understand why he would call it punch me. It makes you want to punch it. I think what we should do right now Hit it out of the ballpark, right? So let's have some fun. Uh, James, James, James. Again, okay, nothing against James, James Charles, I should say. Nothing against him. This isn't. I'm not, I'm not hating on him. I'm not really against him. I'm not with him. I'm kind of just an unbiased bystander, you know, just sharing my opinion on this whole thing. Um, so yeah, uh, just so that's out there. Don't want, don't want anybody to get the wrong idea, you know? Like, oh, <laughs> did you see that? Oh, look at the bat. There's <laughs> like makeup on it. That's after one hit. Like what? Invest in, in a tougher... Invest in some bet. Ah! No! James Charles! Got on me. I'm gonna be infected! Anyway, anyway, anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the destruction so far. As you can see, most of it's blue now. This controversy is a little bit extreme, I think. I mean, honestly, he just, he did some wrong things, I'll admit it. But like, it's not, it, you're losing that many subscribers in one day, are you serious? Like, I don't know, I think, I think it was nice. I think it was a little bit much, honestly. His his video um, got like like what 40 million subscribers. He, he doesn't even have close to 40 million subscribers at that time. So where do all these people come from? It's like I think I think people were just waiting for him to fail, honestly. And when he failed, they all kind of jumped on like that bandwagon of hating him. So for that, I feel bad. I feel bad for Mr. John Mace. But like honestly. I want to destroy it some more, so let's go have some more fun, okay? So we just hit it with a bat. Um, now what we're gonna do is just like, you know, we did some damage to the outside, but you know, the, the makeup is still kind of intact. So, I mean, we have this crowbar thing, we have this sledgehammer, I mean, you know, let's hammer it in a little bit, you know? How are we doing much? Oh, there it is. There it is. So I mashed up a little bit, you know what I mean? Honestly, the whole thing's kind of confusing to me. I mean, I think it was blown out of proportion, I think, honestly. Um, you know, he's like 19, and his life has kind of like been changed forever. Yeah, he made some bad decisions. Okay, they're not the best decisions. You know, they're pretty, they're pretty bad. But like, honestly, for his life at 19 to be kind of destroyed, I don't know, I feel bad for him. I mean, obviously he should have made those decisions, but I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of divided on it. Um, but this is, but this isn't just about James Charles. This is also about like, us as a, as a society, as a culture, I mean, we're so quick to judge. Like, uh, for example, in Star in a, a Game of Thrones, they saw a Starbucks cup. It wasn't even Starbucks. Good job, guys. But uh, they saw like what, what they thought was a Starbucks uh, cup in Game of Thrones, 
and that became like so talked about it became so like d like discussed and everything and was trending everywhere like but that's the thing it wasn't people focus about the the promotion that, that Starbucks got you know they, they're not promotion but they talked about the, the free advertising that Starbucks got that's all they were talking about not talking about Game of Thrones they're talking about Starbucks because it was a mistake that's what people do with society they see a mistake and that's what they that's what they focus on like Really? He has, he has like 15 subscribers, or 15 subscribers, that's me actually. He only has 15 million subscribers or whatever, um, and like 43 million come all, come along out of nowhere. No, it's just because, it's because he made a mistake, or made a couple, a couple of mistakes, and they're so quick to judge. Like, come on, who, 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 who just watched that video just because, you know, they want to see James Charles fail? It's pretty destroyed as you can tell. It's pretty destroyed honestly. Yeah, see it's falling out. Yeah. Yeah. My sister. Full speed, both hands on the wheel, baby. Young Taz coming from the mold field, baby. You know the drill, baby. Yeah. And when you hear the sound of the drum, we'll be saying, here we come. Yeah, here we come. Just ran it. Oh yeah, you can see. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but yep, there is tire marks. Other than that, not much really else happened to it. It's kind of still the same way. Um, but yeah, uh, James Charles, John Mays Charlie's. Oh, uh, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, stay on the ground. You belong. Okay, great. Moving on. I hit it with a baseball bat, I hit it with a sledgehammer, I hit it with a crowbar, and I ran over it with a car. But the reason I made this video was not just to destroy the James Charles Pout. Yeah, I thought it'd be funny. It was pretty funny. Leave a like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. But um, I also want to talk about cancel culture. Like, we find mistakes in other people, in other things, in TV shows, in movies, in anything, in music, whatever. And that's all we talk about. We can't do that. That's that's just really. Are you serious? Because James Charles, a 19-year-old, yeah, he made mistakes that weren't the best. He made pretty stupid mistakes, and you know those mistakes should not ruin the rest of his life because he made those mistakes. He knows he was wrong. He's gonna own up to it. He owned up to it, and now let it let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Um, so enough about the power enough about James Charles. I want to make I want to make this video Because I want to make people laugh. I want to hopefully make you smile um, and also spread some positivity um, Because you know this James Charles stuff. I want to make it in something positive. Yeah, we destroyed it But it was funny right if it was funny leave a like and help me out, but I thought it was pretty funny just live life like you want to live life honestly be yourself be positive and go into every day like it's an adventure i know that sounds really cheesy and you might see it in your middle school library on a poster somewhere but um that's kind of what i want to what i want to promote like my videos i want to make my videos something you can watch something you can click on anytime and kind of be transported into a in, out of your daily life out of um whatever is going on and see something funny, see something entertaining, see something cool. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Um, thank you for watching. If you watch the entire thing, you are a true 100% Philip Show super fan. Um, but yeah, next video coming up should be awesome. We are gonna start making videos a lot more. Um, I'm really excited for what's coming up. I think we have a 24-hour challenge somewhere, maybe even two 24-hour challenges. Um, we also have another cool food related video. We have maybe a, like a beach trip coming up. We have some Fortnite videos coming up. It's going to be awesome. So subscribe that button. Join the 100% Philip Show family. And uh, until next time, be 100.
Yeah. Siege. Riley. Taz.